What if I tell you that there's a voice AI system that allows you to handle cold calling within the US completely legal and all without any of the complex regulatory burden? I know it sounds too good to be true, but I've tested it and it works like a charm. It is fully TCPA and TSR compliant and allows you to connect with different CRMs to automatically synchronize your data. The solution I'm talking about is called Twins AI and in this video I will show you how it works, how you can set it up, why it is so awesome and why it actually delivers on what it promises. So to get started, let's dive right into it. As you can see on my screen right now, I'm in the Twins AI web interface. And before you end up here, you will usually run through a wizard that allows you to configure a couple of things, including the CRMs, etc. And one thing that stands out, which is located right here in the settings, I just want to show you that because it's really damn cool. You can basically train it on your very own voice, which is also part of why this thing is really, really cool. So the way it works is inside of your wizard, you will be hit by a conversation that you just go through with an AI and you basically just talk to it. You talk to it in a conversational sense, which captures your voice and which is then being used to train a custom model that acts as your AI assistant that calls those leads that you bring into the platform. So this was to me already a really cool thing because it just comes right out of the box with you without you doing any configurations. It just trains it for you, right? So you have it literally just inside of the platform. The whole thing is basically designed for sales agents to just talk to leads whenever they are qualified or whenever they see that someone actually picked up because that's one of the biggest issues that we've seen especially with lead quality and the lead list that they bring along. Another thing is that you can, in the side of the integrations, connect to a couple of CRMs. You have high level, HubSpot, etc. It's really cool. And all of that can be done with a click. So very, very easy and intuitive. And the reason they have it there is because whenever you have an actual lead that picked up and that is qualified, that it works with you, you can then just push them into your CRM system and handle them from there. This is a massive opportunity and all of it is no code. You don't need to have any complex setup and it's all done within the same visual interface. So, but to actually come on how it works, what we're gonna do is we head over to the contact section right here. And then the contact section, you can simply click on import contacts, which and then allows you to basically upload a CSV file of all of the contacts that you scraped from somewhere else, right? Or that you basically purchased wherever you got your information from. Now, when you have them and you have the permission to call them, what you're basically doing is you create a new assistant right here in the assistant tab. You simply click on that, go to assistant, and in here you can configure it. It's also very straightforward. You have a predefined assistant. I recommend you adjusting that based on your specific needs, but I'll just guide you over the whole concept pretty quickly. You have a description, which is basically just something internal. Then you have an initial outbound message. So that is the first message that you probably also know from things like WAPI, which by the way, Twins AI also partially uses, which is really, really cool. So it's another big bonus for myself because I know they're gonna have a really good quality on whatever they're building. So this is a static message. Then you have your training prompts. So this is just some more information on what it's supposed to do. Basically some sort of guidelines. Down here, you have a company information prompt. That's kind of like your knowledge base about the company, right? In case they ask any specific questions. And you also have an info gathering prompt, which is basically the information that you'd like to collect by the AI itself before you take over. And this takeover is something that you will definitely look forward to. So definitely stay tuned. Then you can also enable voice voicemail, which basically just sends out the voicemail in case someone doesn't pick up so that when they call back, you can basically convert them in that way. So let's say you have configured the assistant. The next thing, and this is kind of the major thing, is the auto dialer right here, because that is the whole power of their platform, which is also what I really, really like about it. So to explain the concept, I'm gonna guide you through a live example on how it works. But to give you a just theoretical explanation before doing it, the way it works is you basically have all of the contacts inside of the list right here, and you have an auto dialer. The auto dialer is basically what can be started with the assistant that you set, as well as the list that you set inside of the contacts, right? And then it starts calling every single contact over and over, right, from, from that list. And when someone picks up, the AI basically starts having the conversation with a user, basically interacting with them, and you then have the possibility of injecting yourself into the call, basically removing the AI from the call, and you can take over the call directly from within it based on your own voice. And this is just really powerful. So imagine I'm being called from an SCR dialer, like an, a dialer like this. I basically pick up, I hear there's someone talking. It sounds like one specific person. It's AI though, but at some point, whenever in the conversation, the actual sales agent decides to join the conversation, it removes the AI and then the sales agent continues talking with the same voice that it was trained on. It's a massive game changer. So if I wanna have a phone call, for example, I can literally just call a list. The people, they hear a voice AI that sounds like me and whenever I wanna jump in, I can just push out the AI and I can just continue talking with the user in the same line and basically convert them into booking an appointment or whatever I need to do as a sales agent in that case. This is powerful. This is really, really massively powerful. And to actually show you how that looks, I'm gonna go through that with you live. 
we, I have like this test set up here with a couple of zip addresses from that are basically being added by default. You can see they use WAPI as well for that, which is really cool. So in the selected list, I'm just gonna add the sample persona list. You can synchronize your contacts as well if you want to. And from the assistant, I just select my first assistant. And now all I need to do is I basically need to start the auto dialer, which is what I'm gonna do while listening to it so we can go through the call together and I'll also show you how I push out the actually assistant. So what I'm gonna do is I click here on start auto dialer, which now basically means it starts calling with the actual user. Hi Karen, this is Janice from Integraticus. I'm reaching out to discuss how our advanced AI voice solutions could significantly boost your business's efficiency and competitive edge. Do you have a moment to chat? Oh, sure, Janice. Because who wouldn't want to hear about yet another so removed him now. advanced solution that promises... Hey, Karen, how are you? Oh, just peachy. Thanks for asking. Living the dream, you know? Now, what's the catch with this chat? So as you can see, that's literally all I had to do to basically just go through. And uh, yeah, I can now set a sentiment as well. I can basically add notes like you would properly do with a, an actual call. You saw as well that I literally just pushed out, I removed the assistant from the call and I just took over. Now from my side, it didn't sound like my voice, but I've heard it before. When you actually call with the user, it sounds like your voice. It's really, really cool. So that makes things a lot easier and basically overcomes the regulation in, in some way, like the, especially TCPA and TSR. Because you're not just a robocaller, you're actually taking over. So you basically just have an intermediate AI that goes into it, starts the conversation, finds someone that actually is valid, and then the sales agent can take over. So it's it's more like a semi-approach, which is really cool, and makes things just really uh, definitely more efficient, even on the legal side. So I like this setup a lot. It's really, really cool. So you've seen that we had a call with Karen in this case and now to actually look over the call we can also go here to the call logs and you can see in the call logs that I had this call right here right and I can basically also look at the call um, by going to the context so the, the actual call logs are located in the contact itself which would be here so you can see the call that I had with Karen what I basically talked about I think it combines both of those calls together I removed him now that's what I said to you guys <laughs> and then it says hey Karen how are you and now we basically just continued. Now, I don't have a recording in here because with SIP, it didn't add a recording because this is just demo numbers. But if you call with an actual phone number, it will have the recording and you'll also have the option to sync it with your actual CRM system. So in all of that, it's literally the whole setup. There's not much more configuration, which is cool and very, very easy to use, especially for people that are not technical. You can see you can have the pre-call setup, the in-call setup and the contacts. It's very, very straightforward. You can pause things. You can remove the assistant, etc. You can pause the assistant. There's tons of options that you have of doing those calls. And since it's basically list calling, it just calls through the list. You can get a higher quality outcome. And because a human can jump in, it also has a higher chance of converting, especially with sales agents, which is still like the biggest issue that we have right now because outbound cold calls still don't convert as well with fully AI because they're not as good with objection handling. So with that said, I really believe this tool has the power of actually revolutionizing the way we use sales agents right now. It makes things very, very simple and easy to use. So if you are someone that actually cold calls people, you definitely wanna check it out because it's super, super easy to use, non-technical, so no coding knowledge required and you don't need to have any other platforms on doing custom voice training, etc. It's all within this one system. Now, lastly, I also want to show you quickly the pricing because I thought it was actually pretty competitive. They offer a $29 per month plan. Um, to be honest, in my opinion, it's more like a, a, a try it for yourself plan. 120 AI age minutes, it does a couple of calls, which is okay, but uh, that's where it goes more into actually using it as a proper system, 1,500 AI age in minutes. Because you've got to consider as well that in case there are some manually recorded voicemails, they are not always detected immediately. So they would also occur minutes. So for a $299 pricing a month, I think it's still very, very fair for just running through that. And then you have obviously enterprise offering, but that's the thing uh, I haven't tried myself. <laughs> I just played around with uh, the starter and scale. So they're both pretty, pretty cool. And uh, I want to mention as well that this video is not sponsored. I found them myself because I slowly started looking into vertical solutions. And Twinsayer was really, really at the forefront of this. And their team is really cool. I talked to them and I really like the solution, which is the reason why I provide it and promote it right here. Because for people that are in the cold calling industry, this might be a game changer for you and hopefully helps you as well to reduce the stress a little bit by talking to angry customers. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about Voice AI itself, we have a community. It's linked below in the description. There are over 2000 Voice AI enthusiasts that are talking every day about different challenges, different topics, and basically just grow together. So if that's something for you, feel free to check it out. It's completely free. So there's 
there's nothing to lose. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time and see you in the next one.